looking to make simple yet absolutely delicious dishes which doesn't consume too much of our time. So today I'm going to show you a one pot mutton curry which is loaded with flavors with all the meaty goodness to it. So let's get started and check out the recipe. If you like this recipe, like, share and subscribe to Home Cooking Channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. For the mutton curry, I've taken 1 kilo mutton with bone. First, I'm going to add a few spice powders and marinate it. Starting with half teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon salt, 2 tablespoons chilli powder. After adding the spice powders, mix the meat along with the powders and make sure it's all completely coated. So the meat is nice and fresh, so it's very nice and tender. Once you've mixed it, let it sit for about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's start sorting the onions. First, I'm going to saute the onions and tomatoes. For this, click on the menu and select the saute mode. To the cooker, I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of oil, add the whole spices, cinnamon, clove, cardamom, star anise and maize. I'm going to add 4 large onions that are thinly sliced. Next add 2 large green chilli slit. Saute the onions till they are a nice golden colour. So now the onions are nice and transparent. Saute them till they are a nice golden colour. Now I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Next I'm going to add four large tomatoes chopped. Once the tomatoes have become a little mushy, I'm going to add all the spice powders. First season it with 2 teaspoons of salt, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder. Now you can adjust the spice according to your taste. 2 teaspoons cumin powder, 3 teaspoons coriander powder. Mix everything together. This is a very simple yet delicious one pot mutton curry. The masala has come together beautifully. The onions and tomatoes have sauteed beautifully. Now I'm going to switch to meat mode. After adding the meat, mix everything together. So if you see, I've kept the masalas very simple to get the maximum flavours from the meat. Mix the mutton pieces along with the onion tomato masala, so both are well combined. Make sure you at least mix it for about 2 minutes. Now I'm going to add 1.5 cups of water. Seal the vent, click on the menu button and select the meat mode. The mutton curry is done. Finally, garnish with some chopped coriander leaves. The aroma of the mutton curry is absolutely fantastic. Cooking in this one pot actually retains the flavor of the meat and gives a wonderful taste to the curry. The meat is so tender and so soft that it's cooked to perfection. I can't wait to dig into this.
So there you go. Here is this absolutely delicious mutton curry which is rich in its flavors and this can be enjoyed with some nice steaming rice or with some roti by the side. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on 21 frames.